Welcome to Lesson 3. We have covered the two main methods of searching, by keyword or subject headings, in Lessons 1 and 2. This lesson is about refining and limiting your search to improve results. In this lesson, we will examine how to further limit and filter results using the search history. The options for refining your search, including publication type, language, journal subset, and date of publication. In our first example, you are looking for information on UK and Irish literature on smoking cessation. The most effective way to limit your search to UK and Irish literature is to make use of the limit under journal subset for UK and Ireland publications. So in our search box, we're going to put in smoking cessation. Remembering again to tick the suggest subject terms tick box. And on the results screen, we'll tick smoking cessation and tick on major concept And you can see that the explode is grayed out, but the major concept is ticked. And just hit search. And in this next search screen with the results, if you scroll down, you can actually tick on show more, which will bring up a screen which gives you further search options to limit your results. So under this journal subset, you can select UK and Ireland. So if we look over here, you can select UK and Ireland in the journal subset to restrict the search to journals from that region. Please note other options are available under this subset as well. So when you scroll down and click on search, the results will show publications on smoking cessation from the UK and Ireland. This is an example of a typical query, which is best practice for the management of a chronic condition. So you are looking for review articles on best practice on the management of type two diabetes in the last five years. This is best searched for in CINAHL using the CINAHL headings. So to begin, go to CINAHL and type in diabetes two into the search box and make sure to tick the suggest subject terms. Again, this will check the CINAHL subject headings for the preferred term. Click search. In the results screen for diabetes two, tick diabetes mellitus type two and tick major concept. This will retrieve articles where this term is a central focus of the article. Generally, we would recommend exploding a term, which would include all narrower terms of the concept. However, in certain instances, there will not be an option to explode the term, such as in this example, in which case you have to select major concept. Okay, so take search database. So in the search history screen, as in the previous example, if you scroll down and click show more, you will be able to further limit your search. So if we scroll down, what we want to do is limit our search to publication type review. So if you scroll down in publication type, we find review. 
and because we want to limit our search to articles published in the last five years, we can change the publish date from 2007 to 2012. And when you scroll down, you can hit search. So now you can see that our search results have been limited to the appropriate years and only finding reviews. Our next example will be looking for systematic reviews in English on nursing care plans in the last five years. Again, this is best searched in CINAHL using the CINAHL headings. So back in our search, we can type in nursing care plan into our search box, making sure to tick suggest subject terms and search. So as you can see, sometimes you may find that there is no equivalent CINAHL subject heading for the term you're searching for. In this case, you may search for the term as a keyword, as was shown in the previous lesson, lesson two. Again, when the search screen comes up, you can scroll down and click on Show More, which will again bring us these further search options, enabling us to refine and limit our search. This time, if we scroll down to Publication Type and find Systematic Reviews, and also ticking English language and ensuring that our published date range of five years from 2007 to 2012 is still there before we scroll down a little bit and click search. So here we can see nursing care plans 13 results found, and if we scroll down, you can see the actual systematic reviews that were found. There's a subject heading for nurses on CINAHL, and this subject will yield results on both nurses and nursing practice. Using this subject heading is a good way to keep informed on general nursing issues. So back in our search box, we're going to type in nurses, tick suggest subject terms, and search. In the results screen that comes up, we'll tick nurses, and then tick explode. And if you scroll down in the subheadings for nurses, you can actually see there is a subheading that you can tick for standards. Okay, so we'll select this. Bear in mind that CINAHL will retain any limits that you have used in previous searches until you edit or delete them. Scrolling down on the left hand side, uh, you will also be able to display a number of limits which may be applied to refine your search. So if we scroll down, look on the left hand side, you can see by publication type, publication, subject major heading, age and gender. So here in this example, 
we're going to select nursing staff, which is in subject or major heading. We're going to select nursing staff hospital, 61 records. Click update. So we can see 61 results. Scrolling down, we can find our search results. This search was previously demonstrated in Lesson 2 by combining two CINAHL subject headings. It is also possible to use the Search History facility to combine searches. In this lesson, we have seen that the use of limits may be very powerful, but they may also exclude articles of relevance. The first three lessons have focused on searching. The final lesson will show you how to save searches, keep up to date, and manage your search results. So in this example, we're going to look for infection control again. Take suggest subject terms. As you can see, our search for infection control is there along with the search history which shows all the other searches that we've done in this lesson. So in this current example, search 9 or S9 is for infection control with 17,000 plus results. If we go back, search again, Search again for neonatal intensive care. In this results screen, you can see search 10 or S10 intensive care units neonatal. So in this example, we're going to tick both S10 and S9. And by choosing search with and, we can combine both search terms. So as you can see, it creates another search for S9 and S10 with the results limited to 156. We have demonstrated through this lesson the power of using subject headings and refining them. CINAHL does offer a good selection of limits which may not be available in other databases. In the final lesson, you will learn how to personalize CINAHL and customize searching to your requirements. Now it's over to you. To test what you've learned, there are six short questions for you to answer. So go to www.surveymonkey.com forward slash s forward slash lesson three.